hey guys welcome welcome to another video it is so good to have you here with me now today i have something special that i'm gonna make for you it's a jamaican favorite but the thing is the twist is i'm gonna do it in my oven i'm not gonna do it outside in no roasting pan or anything like that so i know you guys saw the um the name of the video so you know what i'm gonna make so this i'm just showing you what i'm gonna put in it the recipe um the seasoning and stuff that i'm gonna use so <laughs> let's continue to watch the video and see how i season my fish to get them all a roast now there are different ways to season your fish if you're gonna do roast fish it all depends on what you want in them now today i'm just going to use what is laying around in my house and today is today is thursday um then friday and normally friday would be shopping day for me so i'm just grabbing whatever is is left <laughs> And using it normally i would put okra in it but no okra i don't have no okra so i'm just using what i have and this is sweet pepper onion um pepper of course scotch bonnet pepper real jamaican scotch bonnet pepper garlic i just have two bags of garlic there because i'm not gonna do a lot onion scallion yeah and you can put thyme in it if you want but i was gonna put any thyme in it because i also have parsley and basil um, what's the name basil or basil or whatever the name is yeah so that's the reason why i didn't really use any thyme because i already have basil and i'm gonna put basil in it and parsley in it as well so yeah you see me there cutting my pepper up i don't want it to get on my fingers so that's the reason why i always use a fork to hold the pepper and uh, it's a little bit stupid here because i'm that i should cut the pepper i should cut the pepper last don't it but anyway i didn't taste any pepper on my hand after after that so thank god so yeah i'm just getting these season cuts up and I'm going to get them in the the callaloo. And that callaloo, I got to say, I have that callaloo in my freezer for quite some time. There, some part of the onion wasn't good or isn't good. So I had to throw that away and pick out the, the colors that's a little bit brown there. But anyway, I had that callaloo in my freezer for quite some time and I didn't know that it was good. I just decided I'm gonna roast um, those fish and I said okay I'm gonna take them out because you don't have to use callaloo you can use crackers as well but I had a callaloo and I'm say I said I'm gonna try it and I did put it in some water and it thawed out and it was perfectly fine I had that in my fridge for so long <laughs> it was unbelievable but it was good when I season it and everything, it was good. I got to tell you that. Now, I didn't use all of what you see there in the strainer because it was just too much. So um, I'm just gonna use the amount that is needed. Then I'm gonna pop, pop that back in a Ziploc bag and put it back in the freezer. So yes, after that, let me just tell you everything that I'm gonna do after this. I'm gonna season, throw these, all of these, um, in my, uh, in my, combine all of these with my hallelujah. Then I'm gonna season it with, you wanna see the season that I used, and uh, get some butter in it as well, because when you sound to eat, you want it to have a little, um, not say water, but something liquefied to, to um steam it and to let, let it be juicy you know in a way yes so yeah and that's it combine everything and um, as i said before normally i would use okra in this and then i would beat it but i'm not gonna do all of that today i'm just gonna get these things in and stuff it not gonna beat it just gonna use this and guys 
just watch the video. <laughs> now guys I'm um, seasoning my Kalaloo and you know I gotta go in with my Maggi All Purpose <laughs> you know that's my go to seasoning a Maggi All Purpose I put on the basically everything now I'm just adding some garlic powder and some fish seasoning and guys I don't have a, a lot of Maggi fish seasoning left because I've been eating fish for um i think it's about two weeks now i'm on a fish diet for about two weeks now <laughs> so i don't have a lot of maggie fish seasoning left in that pan but you know i have to get some some more of that so yeah i just show all of what was left in it now i'm going in with come on let me see what I, okay that is the maggie complete seasoning and you know you have complete seasoning in different different brands but that is the maggie and this is some black pepper just a bit of black pepper to give it some more kick um spice this is my parsley i'm gonna put some parsley and as i said before that's the reason why i'm not using any thyme because i'm using parsley and i'm also going to put some basil in it as well that's my basil or basil it all depends on what you want to call it <laughs> now get that in and then i'm just going to combine that together and as i said before it all depends on what you want in your fish you can stuff your fish with whatever you want to stuff it with you can use some carrots in this as well some shredded carrots in this as well you can also steam your kalaloo before you even stuff your fish with it so it all depends on how you want to do your fish now here are the fish they're already cleaned um cut cleaned up um look at them they're perfectly cleaned now it's time to season them and stuff them so let's continue <laughs> And as you see there guys I'm putting some butter on the five paper as well and this butter is 
to basically not let the fish stick on the foil paper is to give this the, the fish some moisture while it's in the foil paper and now I'm gonna just stuff them get them on that wrap it up and yeah and remember to stuff your fish with as much stuffing as possible because it's vegetable and when it cooks it's going to get less it's going to be less so yeah look how much stuffing i'm stuffing in and when i um i open the one that i'm going to show you it's the stuffing going to be so little bit i wish i did force force some more stuffing in it but yeah just make sure you stuff quite a bit in your fish because it's going to steam and it's going to be be less <music>
Okay, guys, I'm just showing you how much of the Kalaloo is left. And now I'm just going to pop pop that in a ziplock bag and put it in the fridge guys thank you for watching my videos if you made it this far remember to like share and subscribe to the channel this is the oven i'm putting some water in the bottom thingy i don't know what you call that thing that's in the oven no i'm just putting my mesh over that for them to um for them to steam you know with that water dries up then i'm gonna add some more water and it was there in the oven for about 40 to 45 minutes because remember you gotta get the vegetable inside cook as well so thanks again guys for watching and voila this is the finished product it was delicious guys i wish you could have tasted it Thanks for watching and I hope you try this recipe. It is delicious. Bye.